Kansas City Chiefs. Why don't we go back out to Alameda because we have our dynamic duo, a pair that appears to have been married for about 44 years, and they're going on a cruise together because they're dressed very similarly, the great Kate Longworth and Paul Gutierrez. Guys, how'd you see the press conference today? Well, we're sporting the brand and, uh, you know, dress for success right now. And I think uh, what we enjoyed is just hearing what Dennis Allen has to say, you know, after he has some time to uh, sit on the game and kind of watch the film with his players. So diving into what we saw, one thing I want to talk with you about, Paul, is something you filed on um, on CSNCalifornia.com with Carson Palmer and the no huddle offense. And I mean, I think we saw how it leads to success in this game. And we talked to Dennis Allen. Is this going to be more of the offensive game plan going forward? How do you see it playing out? Yeah, I think it's one of those things where, as, as Carson talked about yesterday, he said it's a curveball. It's one of those things where you can't really rely on too, too heavily because then the other team game plans for it, and it's not a surprise anymore. It's something you want to pull out as a surprise and, and uh, shock the other team with it a little bit. So it's one of those things where you can't really go to the well too often. Just You have right. to kind of pick your spots with it. And, and Carson said it himself last night, and, and Dennis Allen just said it too. Uh, but there's no doubt about it that it jump-started that offense in the second half. And another thing I thought was very interesting that you asked Coach about today was uh, Darren McFadden and the fact that is he the same guy we saw last year? In your opinion, is he or is this just an offense that we're not seeing? And the numbers is what they were last year. How are you reading that? Well, it's weird because when you, you stats, you know, Richard Seymour said that stats are for losers, but also your record says what you are and, and stats, you can't really hide from stats. And, and he's not getting the same success running the ball as he did last year before he was injured when he looked like a legitimate MVP candidate for the entire league. Um, is that because he's not running as hard? Is that because the scheme doesn't fit him? I think it's the latter. And that was one of the things I, I wondered about coming into the season was he didn't really have all that much success behind this zone blocking scheme his rookie year and his second year. Uh, but he really excelled behind the power blocking scheme. Well, even Dennis Allen hinted a little bit that they're incorporating a little bit more of that power scheme. And, and uh, it, you, you keep banging your head against the wall and eventually you wonder if the wall is going to finally crack and you're going to have space to run there or not. Uh, I'm not questioning whether Darren McFadden is the same player. He obviously is, but right. he's obviously not having the same success that he did have a year ago. And then lastly, real quick, one thing you touched on um, also was the fact that we saw the Raiders had great success after their bye week. They didn't get the W, but a great game in Atlanta. Then you see Jacksonville come in very prepared for the Raiders after their bye week. And now Kansas City <laughs> has a bye week. So how do the Raiders plan for that, given that they only have a week? And, oh, yeah, they're dealing with a different quarterback, too. Yeah, I think what they do is they just concentrate on what they can control and that's themselves and of course they get the film and they're going to scheme for for Brady Quinn and, and a arrested Kansas City Chiefs team but when you have a rivalry game like this you throw all that stuff out the window and you just go out there you strap it up and you get 11 helmets flying to the ball on both sides of the ball so I think that's what the Raiders do is they just ignore it and they go out there and play and then they get the bad taste out of the mouth from Atlanta and the bad taste out of a win from Jacksonville and as Carson Palmer himself said he'd take an ugly win over a pretty loss any day. All right well we'll see how it is uh, all plays out this week we'll be coming at you all week long on the web csncalifornia.com i'll see you on sportsnet central and from